Chief Minister Aniruthap Brahmariyar was staying in the capital for a few days. Government officials, princes, army chiefs, foreign ambassadors, representatives of trade groups, temple administrators, scholars of southern and vernacular languages etc. came to see him. So his house was always full of people called JJ. Anuradhar did not keep a police force of his own. He kept very few entourages. Therefore, there was no reason for him to have a dispute with the cultists. Still, the little reaper was grumbling. Since the Prime Minister started staying in Tanjore, the security had been reduced. All those who were on their way to see the Prime Minister kept entering the fort. As the Chief Minister's residence was next to the Emperor's palace, the palace area was also crowded. Many people came there to see the Prime Minister by saying his name and showing his sign. Chinapalyavatare wanted to control all this to some extent. But he did not have the courage to go to the Prime Minister in person and start a fight. If there is a big spoiler, you can think together and do something. By this time, the elder Palyavatara had also left for Kadampur, so the younger Kalantaka Kandar felt as if his arm had been severed. That it was not enough to collect a crowd of people inside the fort and make the garrison look sour, the Prime Minister Anuradha often sent orders to some petty officer in the guise of asking him for help. A few days ago he asked for some soldiers to send to Kadakare. Kalantaka Kandar also helped by giving men. Then yesterday he sent a lady of high caste to fetch a lady from Tiravayar, and for that she wanted a mudupala of the Palyavar palace and a Sivakai throw. Chinap Pulvatarayar also fulfilled this request. But inside the mind this Brahmarayan is involved in some intrigue. Who is the lady of the high family who can be kept in a mud palak like that? Why is she coming here? Gotta figure this out anyway. Has Tamayanar left without being here on such an occasion? He was upset. Another man was also eager to know who had come to the house of Prime Minister Anuradhar in Mudupalak. He is no other, it was Alvar Kadayan who was the great disciple of Anuradha Brahmaraya. On the morning of the heavy rain, Aniratha Brahmaraya arrived at the front entrance of the mansion after taking bath, Japatapam, Puja and Punaskaram. He asked the servant to see who was waiting to see him. When he came to know that Alwar Kadayan was one of those waiting, he ordered him to be brought immediately. Alwar Kadayan rushed in front of his guru and stood with reverence. Tirumala. What happened to the past? Asked Anuradha. All were Kadians said, Guru. I have to apologize for having failed. Somehow I never got to meet Aditha Kari Kalar as I expected. I met you sir. I told you the news you told me to tell you, but it was no use. I could not stop the prince from going to the Kadampur palace. Is the prince in Kadampur now? Yes. Master. I have just come after seeing his entry into Sambhavarayar's palace. The prince was given a warm welcome by Sambhavarayar Rajapasara. The enthusiasm shown by the surrounding people is indescribable. That's to be expected. Who else has been to the Kadampur mansion? Parthapendran and Vandiyathevan have come with the prince. From here the great Palyavatarayar has come with the young queen. I hear that they have also invited many minor princes from the Midlands and Thirumunapati country. Thirukovalar Malay Aman. Mani mother came with the prince as far as the river and went back. That valiant man will not be idle. By this time he will have begun to gather troops. I hear that the great villain of Kajumbalar is coming from the south with a large army. May God save this kingdom from harm. Thirumalai. Have you heard what the people of the Chola country are talking about on your way? They are talking a lot about the little prince's accident at sea. They are angry with the vandals. Some even blame themselves. Yes, yes, they must have a reason to complain. Thirumalai. I intend to leave this post of Prime Minister soon. Guru. If you do that, I will also be freed. I will spend my time in pilgrimage singing the hymns of Alvars all over the country and spend my time happily. When are you going to leave your post, sir? I'm going to make one last attempt to protect the kingdom from harm, I'm going to leave when it's done. What was that effort master? 
the most important first step in that endeavor has been ascended. Thirumalai. I have succeeded in the one thing which you gave up saying that you could not come. No wonder, sir. What's the matter? Didn't I ask you to find and bring back a mute woman wandering like a madwoman in the island of Elam? You came back and said you couldn't do that, didn't you? Asked Anarita. Yes, sir. That dumb woman. She was brought to our palace last night. Ah. Wonder. Wonder. How did you accomplish this? I expected that dumb girl to come to Kadakere to find out whether the little prince had escaped or not. I had sent men to fetch her if she did. Fortunately, she came without giving too much trouble. Listen to this joke, Thirumalai. I had her brought from Tiravayat in Mudubalak. For this, the queen of Palyavar I made Mudubalak come. Sir, there was a great storm and rain yesterday evening. Yes so there was a hindrance in the way. I was worried too. It was only after I got to palace last night that I was relieved. Oko. Is it already midnight? Did you stay awake all the time to welcome us? I was awake but I didn't go to welcome her. I got the ladies of the house to welcome her. She was mad, I was worried about what quarrel she was having. Fortunately, nothing like that happened. She ate well and fell asleep immediately. Thirumalai. To tell the truth, I am still a little afraid of seeing her. It's good that you came at this time. Master. I am also very anxious to see that lady. Come, then. Let's go to that castle. She already knows you, doesn't she? She knows you belong to the little prince. So you might as well be a little comfortable. The guru and the disciple went to the back of the mansion. Aniruthapramarayar ordered the nurses to bring the lady who had come last night. The nurses brought the woman and stopped her. Anirudha stood stunned looking at her. A smile crept across Alwarkadian's face. 